Hello again, everyone. It's Romance Detective 2 again. <laughs> it's been a month. I know. <laughs> it's been about a week for me. I know for that again. I have reasons. Those reasons is, well, college is back. Yeah. I, if people know what college is, well, it's a pain. Let's just say college is a pain right now. And it's keeping me from doing anything on here. And, oh, would you like, what? Would you like to save your progress? Yes. Um, okay, um, load, um, okay. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I am very confused. Um, <laughs> what did I just do? Um, is that... Uh, Excuse me. What just happened? What is going on? What? Give me a second, please. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. <laughs> Apparently, I saved it at the, a really bad time. Never mind, let's just continue on. Okay, romance count. Good morning, Chief. What's on the agenda today? I don't know. <laughs> Always eager to fight crime, aren't you? Well, you came to the wrong city for that. There are absolutely no cases to solve, as far as I know. Sorry about that, I had some in my throat there. Um, yesterday was a two-in-one deal. Is there truly nothing you have for us? Okay, it's still first thing in the morning, so just enjoy the peace while it lasts. But actually, there was one thing. Romance cop, that idle cousin of yours called yesterday, said she wanted to talk to you about something Ask if I could tell you to head over to her place whenever you're available. Isn't her cousin like a famous singer? She's home. I thought she wasn't scheduled to come back until tomorrow. Did something happen? Her tour has been put on hold, apparently. Not sure on the details there. I assume it's got something to do with why she wants to talk to you. Alright, thanks, Chief. We'll be sure to pay her a visit today, then. Okay, now we got five destinations to go to. Um... Okay, I didn't save as much last time, but I'm going to try to save a lot this time. Because <laughs> I was getting up there with a noise I just heard at home. Um, I'll turn. All right. This time I'm going to save a whole bunch. Um, we can go to all these places. Let's, let's just go down the way. Let's go to Canary's Mansion, which is her sister's, um, her cousin's. Um, okay. I'm having so many interferences right now. Okay, Lupin is back. All right. Hello, Lupin. This is unexpected. I know right now. Um, um, let's just keep moving. Great. Hey, wait. Aren't you going to ask what I'm doing in here? I don't really care, to be honest. I'd rather not know. Wait, didn't Lupin like um Canary, right? Like back then? Perhaps he's taken my prior insult, literally, and decided to become one with the trash that he is. Wow, what a great start. Um, what, no, how could you be so cruel to a man who has recently dumped? Who has recently dumped? Were you harassing my cousin? Nope, I swear I wasn't. Switch. Um, hey, I'm the victim here. I was only making a romantic gesture. Sure, Lupin. And this music is getting louder and louder by the second. If I recall correctly, your idea of a romantic gesture was setting off fireworks in the middle of a concert. Yeah, Lupin. <laughs> I had hoped your insults to the romance were only because of the roses by seeing that you've ended up like this. I'm certain it was well deserved. Yeah, Lupin. You're being pretty harsh, detective. I mean, I totally agree, but maybe we should hear him out. Nah. Psst. Sure. W whatever that noise is. Um, like I wanted to tell you two in the first place. You're always abusing me, and you only get away with it because you're cops. Wow, cops get away with everything nowadays. I might... Ah, I, I got a jab at the cops and I can't I can get away with it because of this small channel. <laughs> Detective is not a cop and you are a criminal. It's my job to be tough on crime, sir. If you don't want to tell us your story, we have no reason to stand around out here. Come on, Lupin. Hear him out, leave. Ah, we're gonna leave. Screw you, Lupin. <laughs> Alright, let's just go then. Wait, are you going into Canary's house? Can I? You will stay in that garbage can, it's where you belong. Yikes, what I ever do to you? Fine, I'll just rot here alone in my misery. 
We will make you miser, mis, miser. That's a new term. I'm in a new term for misery. I'm, I'm turning the volume down. Um, music down, sound volume, because why not? Because it's just too loud for me. Um, return. If it could, there we go. We have a bodyguard. Okay. Good morning, Officer Chris. Romance detective. Romance detective. Um, Miss Canary will be with you momentarily. All right. Um, okay, thank you. All right. It's been a while since I played this, so... Wait, I didn't even have any voices. What, I'm, what am I talking about? Hey, Detective, you really hate that Lupin guy, huh? He was rude to you. Yeah. Is that why? Hmm. Yeah, I understand. He's been in trouble from the start. I don't like him at all, either. Chrissy, come on, come on in. Delphine? Del Delphine? What? And noise again. What the hell? Oh my god, um, could you make some tea from our guests? Uh, screw the noise, I have cut this so many times, I don't legit care anymore. <laughs> Certainly. Eh, so you're that romance detective everyone's talking about. I hope you're taking good care of my cousin. Oh, she is. Of course. That's good, I'm glad you finally found somebody worth, like, sticking to. Ah. Are you getting enough rest? I heard your tour was put on hold. Oh yeah, that's a whole other thing. No, this is just some weirdo showed up here in the middle of the night and woke me up, so I'm like, uh, what happened exactly? Oh, don't tell me she fell in love with Lupin. Oh, you want to know? It's kind of a funny story. Okay, so this not so fanboy is like trespassing in my front yard with this boombox, and I'm like, whoever owns a boombox anymore? But what else? I'm not important. So I tell Devine, here this guy's being super rude, waking me up like this, and I ask her to like, go take care of it and stuff. So she did? Lupin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, hmm? We found him sitting in your garbage can when, she, when we arrived. What? I didn't know he was still out there. That's way creepy. Tell me about it. It's just that kind of person he is. We've had some run-ins in the past. For fuck's sake, there's a lot of noise. Hello? And here they come. Hello, Katie. Hello, Kitty. Um, whoa, you guys have to deal with all sorts of people on the job, huh? Being a cop sounds scary. It's fine, usually. I mean, at least I don't get stalkers except the one time. It doesn't mean really count. I'm afraid someone's going to come in and see these cats on, on chairs. Hmm. Huh. No, screw it. I'm going to keep this on recording. I don't care. Hmm. And as my voice gets closer to the microphone, I don't care. I have the microphone actually covered. I don't know. I care about privacy. Hmm. That's another thing that happened during my time away. I covered my microphone for privacy ways, even though I've recorded like a hundred episodes. Yeah. Oh well. Oh yeah, when you when that weird rose stuff happened, I saw on the news. You're so brave, Chrissy. Only because a great romance detective was there to help me out. <laughs> well, Miss Canary, wasn't there something you called us here to talk about? Oh, that's right. So, like, the reason we had to stop the tour and stuff was because of what happened at my last concert. She's still tired, by the way. Like, every line, she's yawned or coughed. My fans got too excited and ended up kind of storming the stage. Delphine had to save me from that. This tour was turning out to be too much for you. I know it's already difficult to cancel on your fans, but it really was for the best. Yeah, you would have protected me either way, though. But my fans are never like this, so, like, couldn't it be not... Something else is going on here? Like what? Are the roses back by any chance? Well, they are. All had these creep, creepy look in their eyes. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, um, this might sound weird, but were they like rosy looking? Um, yeah, that sounds right. Detective, do you think... I have a few questions for you, if you don't mind, Miss Canary. Okay, okay, ask me anything. Um, time for a friendly little interrogation. Hmm. Where did you perform? When was a concert? Present? Um, okay. When was the concert? What time was it scheduled to start? Oh, it was just the other day. I went on at 7.30, but everything fell apart pretty fast. Boo. When what the other day isn't a specific day, I hope you know. So it was dark right at that point, wasn't it? And still some noise. These cats are so energetic right now. Um, not with all the stage lights, it wasn't. But yes, it was nighttime, the moon was so pretty. Now the last time I used cats in a thumbnail, 
Like it was really highly clicked and it worked pretty nice. I just put cats and put a picture of a cat in the freaking thumbnail. Click, oh, cats. People will click it. Um, I see. Thank you, Miss Canary. I finally realized the connection between all the cases we've seen thus far. Is that the only question we're going to ask? I'm sure you've caught on by now. Well, everything keeps happening at night. Precisely. I believe it's our own, our best interest to keep everyone in their homes after sunset to help prevent any potential crimes of passion. I'll call the chief and ask her to issue a citywide curfew. That's the only question we're going to ask. Are you freaking serious? Oh, what happened? Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Seriously? You sound like a real pro, Chrissy. I feel safer already. Chief, come in. There's been a huge development. Are you freaking serious? We're not going to ask anything else. Go like, what happened with your audience? Are you okay? No, let's just say, where was this taking place? When was this taking place? That's terrible. We are not good cops. Oh, romance cop. What's got you all worked up today? Remember the case with the roses? Can't really... Cats! <laughs> I'm keeping that. It's frightening, man. It's gonna be the most. The loudest. <laughs> Remember the case with the roses? We can't really explain why right now. Well, people have been acting like they did back then. Only when they're out at night. I could I could delete all of this and re record this, but no. I'm too far in to delete this. And these cats are making this so much better. <laughs> that so sounds pretty concerning. We'd like to suggest a curfew in order to keep the citizens of Love Bloom safe. What a way to get back into this, man. <laughs> sure, no problem. I'll get right on it. I hope you can hear all of this. <laughs> the one time I plan on recording, the cats decide to play around. I have two cats, right? And they are rarely playful. And so the one time I decide to play around. <laughs> oh my god. I'm um, Chief, you sound a little distracted. I'm a little distracted, I'll tell you that. What? No, sorry, I hear you. There's a visitor here right now. That's all. A visitor? Yeah. It's, uh, sorry ma'am. What did you say your name was again? Oh, we didn't mean to interrupt, Chief. Just wanted to let you know that nighttime should be considered dangerous until we can figure it out. Roger that. See you two back at the station. Yep, over and out. Well, that's done. What's next for us, Detective? <laughs> we continue the investigation, of course. Oh, are you leaving already? I haven't been paying attention to the art, so if something funny has happened, I'm not sure. All I see is romance cop sweating and canary winking. Okay. Sorry, Canary, I wish we could stay a little longer, but the case... I understand. Thanks for stopping by anyways. It was a pleasure meeting you. Come back anytime. We can have another cute double date. I'll let you hear some of the new songs I've been working on. Okay, that sounds great. I'm really looking forward to it. I'll show you out. Okay, Delphin, Delphine, Dolphin. And Cupid's here for some reason. Um, Yo, Cupid, what brings you here? I was looking for you too. I'm sure you've got an idea of what I'm here to talk about. I'm giving that Cupid emo voice. I'm trying my best. Or the I'm going to kill you all voice. <laughs> Wait, before we get to that, did you happen to see a guy in the trash? Who can while you were waiting out here? What? Uh, now they're both laying down. <laughs> One just popped in the air. <laughs> um, never mind. Turns out he was trespassing here last night. <laughs> like he's evaded the law once again. Nothing's cutting out. Like I plan on cutting out lots of stuff, but never. It's gonna be the worst recording ever. I don't care. <laughs> anyway, the Rose's problems back. We've gathered as much. How do we stop it? This is like that Jack Septic guy one video where like he had an hour long um Undertale video. And like two or three minutes of it was just him walking away from the screen just to use the restroom. Oh, what a great video. Um, that's why I'm coming to you. Um, is there a better place we can discuss this? The police station, perhaps? I'll drive us there. Oh, quick note. I don't care about my microphone quality. <laughs> I know this sounds terrible right now. But do I, does it look like I really care by now? <laughs> I have cats making noises. 
I have constant stops in this voice. And I have not recorded in maybe a week. Does it look like I care? <laughs> Great, but I should mention, I don't really like cars. So I'm just going to follow along behind you, alright? <laughs> Fair enough. Wouldn't want to ruffle any feathers. I like that saying. That, that was really cool. Hilarious. Maybe you should think about changing careers. How does romance comedian sound? I still like detective deaths. Now off we go. I like how a romance comedian was changed in colors. Police station, park, home. I've lost track of what to do, so I'm guessing station is where we're supposed to go. And I know there's more than one ending in this game, but I have a feeling we're never going to get there. <laughs> hmm, that's strange. There's something wrong. No, just I kind of expected the chief to be here. I guess she's off handling the curfew thing. Anyway, Cupid, please fill us in any information you have made. You may have regarding this new Roseless Rose problem. Okay. <laughs> First of all, you two are the detective types. Not me. The only information I have is that something's not right. Like, consistently, everywhere. <laughs> okay. Everywhere. What does that mean? Everywhere is like every place in the world. Like, not just that place, or not that place. It's like every single place you can see. That, that's what everywhere is. Yep, there's problem the whole world over. As we speak, even. And these incidents, are they all occurring at night? Seems like it, yeah. Sounds like you two are having things figured out. But then this means even if there's a curfew you set for the city, the rest of the world is still in trouble. Can we warn that many people? Don't waste your time. It's better to just focus on solving the problem. But everyone's in danger. Aren't you worried about them? <laughs> I, have any, I have a feeling any second this cat's going to jump. And he looks tired, but he still looks like he's about to jump. <laughs> <laughs> and he can hear me. He's looking straight at me. <laughs> oh, no. Um, they can fend for themselves. Hi, Kitty. I'm shocked they haven't meowed. Um, that's a little cruel, don't you think? Let me put it this way. Think of all the injustice going on in this world right now. There's a lot, and trust me. Are you going to make that your responsibility? Of course not. You're going to stay within your reach and defend the people here in front of you. I don't think that the roses being involved changes any of that. Sure, as one person, there's not much I can do, but you're a god. You couldn't reach the whole world if you wanted to, couldn't you? Cupid's a god, everyone. You heard it here first. Cut the bleeding heart crap and be realistic. No one outside of Love Boom has seen the Rose's work firsthand. There's no way people are going to believe anything we tell them about it. Unfortunate as it may be, Cupid does have a point. We'll just have to concentrate on solving this quickly and hope that the rest of the world catches on. Now can we get back to figuring out what we're gonna actually do about it? No. <laughs> yeah, an romance cop doesn't know. I think the first order of business is to uncover the source of the rose's effect. Last time was dependent on their physical presence, or the smoke released after being burned. We shouldn't keep the one. We should have kept one to study how it worked. If science can even explain those things, I was always unclear on that. Are we dealing with magic here? Magic isn't real. Thanks for killing that down, Cupid. <laughs> Says Cupid. <laughs> yeah. Don't lump magic and divine power into the same category. Anyways, whatever it is, it's man-made. Cupid always shooting down everything. Huh. He is a god, anyway. He knows what he's talking about. Which means there's someone out there that we must apprehend. However, until we have clues to their identity or whereabouts, all we can do is deal with the uh, roses themselves. The main problem with that is... Of course, our previous solution is useless in this case. There are no roses here to dispose of. Now that you mention it, what do you think happened to that rocket? I don't know, at the moon? I don't know. Where do you think you shot it? You shot into the sky. Try to remember. It definitely made it into space, if that's what you're asking. If it did land back down here, the problem would have made, been the same as before. Cupid, you had wings, okay? Try to fly. Try to fly, try to remember where the freaking rocket is. It could be still shooting into the sky. Try to find it. Definitely me. Yeah. That's all right. It's still the rose's effects seem to be indirect, which means... Romance Cup, are you thinking what I'm thinking? The rocket exploded. It's coming from the moon. I want to pick that answer, even though it's definitely wrong. Because I remember saying something like that last time. It's coming from the freaking moon. Do you think that rocket could have landed on the moon? Not thinking, little thing, I'd be surprised if it did. 
Well, think about it. If people are only being affected at night when the moon is out, wouldn't it make sense that the roses are there? I didn't think that, but that makes sense. Good work, romance cop. That's precisely the conclusion I had in mind. I freaking foreshadowed it a freaking episode ago. If you knew the answer, you could have saved us some time by saying it yourself. I'm sorry, Cupid. I didn't mean it. I didn't know. I didn't know, okay? I didn't know roses were going to be here. I didn't know rockets and roses were going to be here an episode ago. I'm a smart person, apparently. So exposure to moonlight is currently dangerous. It's impossible, but that seems to be the situation. What are we supposed to do about this fighting moon? Cupid can. Don't look at me. Oh, you know you can. You're a god. I've never been trained for space flight. It appears we will need to ask for assistance in this matter. But who do we call? Like Cupid said, anyone outside of Lone Flume is going to need some convincing that any of this is real. We'll call my mother. Da da da. <laughs> Your mother. She's a scientist, not like Lupin, a biochemist, actually. What good is a biochemist to us when our problem's on the moon? I, mean, I should have ended that, this episode on the mother thing. That would have been a perfect ending. And I do not know, but it's at least something. I will call her. I feel bad for you. And Cupid. Um, Cupid? What? I was thinking about what you said earlier, about making things my responsibility when I shouldn't. And you know, it's because of us that the roses are up there right now. So I guess I do feel like anything bad that happens because of that is partially my fault. Oh, it's a, the detective's plan. Uh, English. I don't know how to speak it. Um, so she probably feels that even more than I do, you know? Stop, stop, stop. I know what you're trying to do and don't you don't need to do it. What do you mean? You thought you could guilt me into doing what you wanted. I haven't felt that emotion in centuries. Wouldn't have worked, but I know you two are going to take care of everything in the end, so in return, I'll do you a favor and warn people about the moon. Cupid. Yeah, yeah, I'm great. Praise Cupid and all that. Anyway, bye. And he disappeared. Cupid is a god. Why couldn't he do this himself? The meeting is set. Where has Cupid had gone? He decided to spread the word after all. Thank you, Cupid. I am greatly relieved to hear more people will know how to protect themselves from the Rose's curse. Me too. So you said your mother is going to meet with us? I would not be surprised if she said no. Oh, yes, we can expect her at my private residence in one hour. It's up to, your, it's up to you how we pass the time until then. I'll take this as an invitation to drive us wherever I want. Okay, we will be at Romance Detective's home next time. <laughs> Y'all enjoyed this, because I did. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Um, <laughs> bye.